Mantech. Mantech. Hello, Mantech. What's up, Mantech? <laughs> Hi, Mantech. Are you Mantech too? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Mantech. Thank you for the oh. sub, Impossible Pie. Hell yeah, welcome, brother. Welcome aboard. What's really there, appreciate what's, that. What, what's wrong with my face? Look at Chad face. <laughs> Look at Chad face. I man tech. <laughs> mm. It's men tech, not man tech. But God, I'm man. Actually... I'm man. You're man, and we make men. What? What? <sighs> God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of many shows on YouTube right now. But thank you for picking this one. <laughs> Hanging out with us. I am your host, Jay. This is Chad. I like your Joe shirt. I'm trying to think. Is that the Capcom one? NES game? It's the, the Joe Berg shirt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the Capcom, I think. NES. Yeah. Yeah. yeah based off the. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Christoph, welcome. Congratulations on being first. David Andrews is here. Matt Rubin, good to see you, mate. Mikey over here. He was over there. Now he's over here. Cutthroat Comics has returned after spending the entire day with me. Thank you so much. Uh, James Lucas, welcome. Who else we got going on over here? A lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. It's moving. It's Patrick. Moving, moving, moving. Severus Snape is here. Welcome, guys. It's Chad is here, and he's there. Woo, baby. I live in the Matrix. Just Jeff. Mo is here. Look at Mo's great new pick. I like that. Bobblehead of himself. Really good. good. Dan Jermaine has arrived. Aaron is here. Bear Charlie, good to see you, mate. Peachhead76. Uh, who did I miss? Steve is here. Daredevil Dave. Yeah, Steve Dave, yeah. Uh, pains yep pains is here what up mate look at mm -hmm. all the lovely people uh impossible pie thank you so much again for the sub welcome on in remember when resolute snake eyes figures were the hottest figures since sliced bread yep i, and I, I ripped his head off oh my god yeah, i did i did i sure did i needed okay. to make a uh a, a modern action force stalker. So I took the head. So I took a gift, her pretty head. David, if you kill him, he will win. What movie is that from, everybody? Try to guess that. Seven, one. Uh, Cal California, don't come around here. <laughs> <laughs> Targoon's here. What? Oh, no, hand. <laughs> Targoon, after spending most of the day with me, welcome on back, buddy. Uh, Skyfall is here. The party can begin. Scott is here. Mm -hmm. So many lovely people. Absorb vids. Toast to Kane, yeah. All Damn. right. Toast to Kane. <laughs> let, let, me, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me show everybody something. Look at this. You want to see where G.I. Joe was going? You want to see the, the best G.I. Joe? It's this right da -da -da. here. It is. I used to think it was called Resolute. <laughs> <laughs> Resolute. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh, my God. One of the greatest G.I. Joe stories ever. Uh, released in 2009. Made for us. Made for our generation that was aging just like itself. And oh, my God, Chad. It shows. Look, so good. Luke's got a scar. Doc has white hair. He's getting older. It's everything that I wanted, but we're going to get to that. We're going to get yep. to that. Yeah, there's nods to everything that came before. A little bit of uh, Larry Hama's stories in the Marvel comics. A little bit of the Sunbow series. Written by Warren Ellis, who also wrote um, the comic slash graphic novels Red, which is retired extremely dangerous before the Bruce Willis movie. Yeah, and Warren Ellis, he kind of did a Wrath of Khan thing where he, he knew enough about Joe. So he was firmly in the whole left and right limits, but he just did what he wanted. Yeah. And you know Love what? Uh, how do I say this? 
the changes obviously the snake eyes and storm shadow story is different but there's little nods to everything that shown right off the hop when uh, uh bazooka's killed spoilers if you haven't seen it bazooka's killed by storm shadow yep. the Chicago note is in the mouth uh they pull it out snake eyes translates it and Duke's like you don't have to say a word i'll get the plane ready and then he just sits and looks at scarlet he's like so you're gonna go with him or you're gonna go with me I loved that part. You can go with him, yeah. or you can stay with me. And then she says, you mean stay with the unit? And he's stay like, you me. heard what I said. You heard what I so said. So good, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, Duke, as we know, is the love interest of the cartoon and Snake Eyes of the comic book. So great. Uh, G.I. Joe Resolute is one of the few discs that I still own. It's awesome. I got this brand new at like a flea market. There's still like the, the shrink wrap on it. And it wasn't too long ago. It was maybe five years ago. Yep. All in at one. Uh, Resolute was 2009 to 2010, question mark. I missed that era. I only started collecting heavy again in 2012. Mm. Get it. Uh, watch it on YouTube. It's going to be a little weird because they changed the audio. So they're going to be really high pitched. But if you like it, buy the physical disc. You can find them on eBay real cheap. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah. Um, I believe the story was it was cut up into little segments that were shown before the G.I. Joe movie trailers. I think that's what it was, right? So it was 11. Mm. It was an 11 part thing that they did on adult as part of adult swim. And right. they were only right. like five to six minutes. And I think the last one was 10. Actually, somebody's going to do that. But yeah, so it was 11 little quick segments. But it was, and when we get to the figures, we'll talk about it more. But I can't help but to just get it out now because watching, rewatching this today, I got just goosebumps. Like it's so good, and the the series, the real American Hero series that we know and love, yep. was aging with us. No more of these little lasers, and everyone misses everybody. No dead and major blood dead bazooka dead storm shadow dead bam 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 it starts with scarlet showing up at the what the lincoln memorial and yeah. there's major blood dead with a freaking yep. cobra dagger in his chest yep yeah it like does, it, not, does not it's not it's real and there's cobra commander like nukes moscow with his new weapon like in the first like 10 minutes so joke man yeah um, woodman's here what's up woodman you know the the one person who could really speak to <sighs> The power of G.I. Joe Resolute is this guy. Mm. Because he was not into the, the 118 scale dollies. And then I hit him with that Resolute bug. And this guy's all over it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's uh, that's awesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> Jay drinking moonshine. Yep. Straight from the top. <laughs> See, in Canada, this is a smart, smart guy over here. In Canada... It comes from the tap. Pure moonshine, boys. I don't even like doesn't even affect me. Check it out. You're not drinking coffee? What are you what are you doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Right here, oh, okay. right here, right, right here, boys. Right here. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna hold on. Answer answer me. I got your coffee right here. <laughs> coffee talk. <laughs> so my wife started watching this series on uh Netflix called uh Homicide New York. Yeah, she was like, "I like it because they all sound like you," and I'm like, "No, they don't." And then we watched one today. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, okay, kind of <laughs> a little bit." Hey, Redfin, how you doing? Uh, James says Cobra Commander is badass. Yep, in that one, sure he is. is not the it, as much as we all love Chris Lotta. He is not the sniveling sunbow, but he actually he he makes allusions to previous failures from the sunbow yep. stuff. And you know what I like? You know what I compare it to, Chad? I compare it to, I always screw his name up, Frank Langella yep. Skeletor. So, so completely different. So completely different. And I remember hearing Frank Langella say his lines like, you know, like, you will nail. Like he just. The alpha. So and the Omega. But it was like completely different from the yeah. filmation yeah. Skeletor, right? Uh, but they're both good, but for different reasons. And that's friggin' tough to do when you have Chris Lotta voicing anything because he's a god voice actor, right? Yeah. So, yep. They didn't even try it with Starscream in the Bay movies. Didn't even try it. No. No. And that's good. Jim Largo. What's up, brother? What's up, Largo. How you doing, buddy? 
Good to see you. Good to see you, buddy guy. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Are you supposed right. to be cutting back? Who, me? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I only had one today. <laughs> Those are yeah, rookie I, numbers. Jay. I've been doing uh, Friday is my super long day usually. And I have like four or five. And yeah, my body doesn't like it. So I got to cut back. So I've only, this is my, only my second. Only my second. But I, I am cutting back. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Resolute is the G.I. Joe for the kids who are now adults. Uh, one of the best animated movies. Yeah. And for me, during that time, David, 2009, uh, getting back into the 25th anniversary Joes and stuff like that. It was just us maturing with these characters. And again, I can't tell you how much I love to see the growth of the characters. The flag looks completely different, as it should, because a military vehicle is not going to, you're not going to keep an old, you know, aircraft carrier from 80 years ago. You're going to up, up the tech, you're going to upgrade it. The maulers look different. Oh, yeah. Um, the his it's tanks. just awesome. The his yep. tanks, it's awesome, man. It's so good. Gonzo's here. Gonzo, what up? Sorry, I'm late. It's okay. We're just about to start, buddy. Welcome on in. This guy's here too. Hey, you guys never, ever, ever apologize for being late. Please, we're here for you. <laughs> I mean, we're really, yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, the whole point of a live stream is to interact with the chat. Like, they're, they're yeah. you, you know, like guests are the stars. The live chat's the stars. We're just yep. the freaking dum-dums pushing buttons. Speaking of which, I'm going to push that. Yep, you already did. Johnny B Customs, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Hi, dudes. I'll take a break from collecting for a bit. Uh, I just wanted to say hi because I'm still going to watch your live streams. Oh, Johnny, thanks, dude. Thank you so much for the support. And I know what it's like. You do gotta you gotta step back. I've said this for a couple months now. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. nice to step back and just appreciate what you have and kind of give the chase up just for a little bit, right? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. So thank you for the support, mate. All right, so once again, I, I got, because you guys are the stars, you got a question? I got, I, I have something to add. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So you, you uh, in the back, you in the back, yes. Oh, yeah. Mister Carter. Yeah, Mr. go. Mr. You're Carter. Right. Um, did you know that um, a resolute USS flag uh -huh. playset uh -huh. got all the way into the design phase? Oh, oh don't tell me that yep they killed it just before molding oh. yep. and they're they're out there like the um the expanded view of what it would have looked like with the round conning tower and the two launch bays off the front yeah they almost went to molding on it it sounds to me that made me sad like someone's got a project maybe Maybe someone Maybe. I know who creates toys. Maybe, maybe show me their blueprints. <clears throat> They're that out there. You so can find sick. them. Okay, we listen to you guys. Excuse me. I'm stuffed because it started to snow again and it was really warm. So give me a sec. Oh, really? You got more snow? Yeah. Uh, am I joking? No, I'm never joking when it comes to uh, USS flags and dollies. More importantly, we listen to you guys. Okay, so we are still doing the voting system. A, B, C, and D, so it gives you a little bit more wiggle room, guys, okay? So it's not as black and white. I know there are several shades of gray when it comes to dollies. Uh, Chad and I will decide if you guys all vote A. Chad and I will decide if it's an S tier. And if it's uh, a D tier, we will decide if it deserves to go lower than that. Sound fair? That's what you guys came at us with, and I love it. I think it's a great idea. Let's do it. Yeah. Dale's here. <clears throat> Welcome back, Dale. Good to see you again. Now, we're not doing all Resolute. We have to start off where we left off with the G.I. Joe 25th, since they are a spinoff of the 25th anniversary line. Let's continue with our medic, Doc. Here's something funny, or something I didn't know. I, I kept praising the classified Doc. I think it looks great, and I was like, oh, the pill bottles. Look at those pill bottles. He's, He's got them right here. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. You got to look really close because one of them, kind of the one on the 
right side, you can sort of see it in the, in the, in the blister there kind of looks like a pack of smokes <laughs> once you get up close to it. But yeah, he does have them. Yeah. <clears throat> once again, <clears throat> I look at the uh, 25th and up line and I'm just blown away by what we got. Um, I wonder if we all knew at the time how special these figures actually were. Um, As time goes on, I want to collect more and more and more of them. I I think they're just absolutely gorgeous. They, They pay homage to this stuff when we were kids at the same time, modernizing it a bit more. Yeah, and I think this doc's a perfect example of that. Yep, I'll, I'll tag you in here. I, I mean, it's a great figure. He's got the green lens glasses on. He's got a lot of great paint apps, tampos. Um, again, he has that the mid forearm articulation that a lot of the moderns had in the earlier waves. That's weird, right? Like, but he's still a freaking awesome figure, oh, like, dude. Doc's the, the let me throw this out to you. Is Doc the best medic in G.I. Joe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Even more so than his daughter, who became Doc. Excuse me. I, I agree. She, uh, he's he's amazing. I love Lifeline. Stretcher's all right, but, I mean, Doc is Doc. stuff. Doc's Doc. Yeah. I yep. mean, Lifeline's good, but it's Doc. Uh, Impossible Pie says, I still have my 25th figures on card. They're all gorgeous. I have I owe a lot of my collection to this guy right here, Mr. Chadwick, <laughs> who sent me a box of love that had at least 10, 12, 25ths in it. So oh, yeah, yeah um, I have these on my wall too. I think they're gorgeous. Um, I do love to open them, but Zob tier. Yeah, buddy. What's up, Rob? Welcome on in, my friend. Yeah, but, so <laughs> apparently uh, Rob and Tater were in Phoenix last weekend and i didn't know until they were already there and i because remember i was there the week before so kind of passed them sucked a little bit well i mean it it happens right yeah there you go guys get your votes in a b c or d remember c is the mid-tier all right it's average but you would still want to add it to your collection don't forget that okay if you guys vote as d is the majority chad and i will decide if it's the bottom of the barrel same with the A tier. And, and we got to remember that because Chad and I are doing the S tier now, the figure has to be really, really, really special. We're even going to up our standards. Yep. We're not going to give away S's. Oh, Mikey. I love you, buddy. Mikey, I'll give it to you, dude. I hey. What? S- stop it. You don't tell me what to do. Just Jeff says, I'm going to Joe Mecca tomorrow, Empire Toys in Keller, Texas. You can see them on a toy store near you, season five. That is true. But they have a bunch of fun stuff that I'll be perusing. Chad, keep your phone close. You got it, buddy. That's awesome. Sounds like a good time to me. Sounds like a good time to me. Uh, We get homage again to the uh, Hector Greedo card art, which... I just love I love to see it. Um, I would have liked to see it a little bit different, but this is a good. It almost looks like the original art. Like some of them, you know, it's like they're it's like almost like they're traced and uh-huh. then put on the card. But this one looks like, you know, it's pretty pretty close to the original. I dig it. I don't I don't know how the kids do this, Rob, but they, would have been happening, man. Bummer about your party. They do like a this or something. I don't know. <laughs> You're not the boss of me. <laughs> You're not the boss of me. <laughs> Spoken like a true adult. <laughs> All right. <Yeah>. Well, <laughs> Spoken like a true dolly snob. You're not the boss of me. What's a dolly adult? A dull. Anyway, forget that. Uh, 77% A tier with 35 votes. Guys, 35 votes. There's over 65 of you in the chat. Come on. Who's not voting? Who's not voting? But bunch of them. Uh, okay, I'll go first. Uh, a A tier for Doc. All day. <clears throat> His character is incredible uh, in every version, including Resolute. Yep. Um, his his freaking sculpt is phenomenal. He's hard to find. He's expensive. Um, but yeah, it's it's a truly wonderful figure. Go threaten me with a good time. All right. 
And what are you going to give them? A tier as well? Yes, sir. A tier. The chat with 77% agrees. Let's do it. Our first one, A tier. Very, very well done. Good job, Doc. Doc's always a winner. A tier. Good job. You you rock. You rock. Doc, this one's for you. Oh, you son of a <laughs> bitch. He was a mail away. Yes, that's why he is very expensive. I've seen him a few times in stores. Uh, action figure adventure season one, I think, in Ohio. I think we saw him. Really? I don't remember where it was. I'm so bad with remembering. Um, he was a lot. Yeah, he was a lot. I was like, eh, nope. Can't do it. Not so much. Not right now. Mm. Uh, let's go here. Who's this guy? Who, who is that? It's Blurple Firefly. Who's Corbis? Who's Corbis? Sabatia. 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 That's a Saboteur J. Codename Firefly. Get to the chopper. Yeah. Right, so this is this cool. is also that weird thing where you have you have the comics versions, you have the cartoon versions, and then you have like the straight real American hero homage versions. So they had you know three different flavors going on at the same time. And this is the comic y one. Oh Largo doesn't like it. Don't highlight Rob's comment. <laughs> do not <laughs> well now i want to because you said don't <laughs> <laughs> wow you guys look at this yuck right jim said yuck <laughs> cool it's a firefly star tree willie walkers go i li- i was just gonna say this figure kicks ass is he snozberries Oh, God forbid he should wear different clothes. Oh, no. I'm just saying that's Grimace. No, you got to no, 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 wear the same <laughs> outfit every day for <laughs> 35 years. Blue Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I dig it. I like the, uh, oh, the artwork's gorgeous. The artwork's great, yeah. But yeah, this is that buck that they were doing, you know, in those earlier waves. Uh, yeah, thanks, Gonzo. The earlier waves of the 25th anniversary where they had those really bulbous shoulder and then a skinny arm and then that very noticeable um pin in elbow with a fat forearm and it's just it's very bulbous looking steve called it i was just looking at that look at his friggin the the uh gasoline can yep we have some c4 uh Looks like his maybe his walkie-talkie. Oh, his gun is great. What kind of gun is that? Grease gun. Oh, it's awesome, man. This is great. I love this. This art is oh my god, it's fantastic. Yeah, no, it's rad. And uh, speaking of Firefly, he's great in Resolute as well. Mm-hmm. Different outfit. Thank you. I like that. Imagine, ladies and gentlemen, if in all three Star Wars movies, Luke had the same outfit. Even though it's like three years in between, he came out to fight Vader at, in the end of uh, Return of the Jedi and as farm boy. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm just saying, people are allowed to get new clothes. That's all. No, I'm I, I totally agree with you. Except if you're like a sp- if you're a superhero, it's pretty rare. And then if you get new clothes like Spider Man, then it's oh my god, it's celebrated and the issue is worth a billion dollars. So there you go. All that says Firefly technically isn't Cobra. He's a mercenary hired by Cobra. Be nice to my Cobra. Cutthroat will, he'll cutthroat you. The POC Firefly was awesome. Matt says, if you wore the same clothes, I hope did la- Luke did laundry. But that's what I mean, right? Mm-hmm. Like one cool thing about Star Wars is they have different outfits, not only in between movies, but often throughout. Well, look at this. What do we got going on here? Well, oh no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, we got feedback. Do you want to mute mute your mic? Mute your mic. I did. There we go. There's the dolly cam. Dolly Colly Cam. <laughs> so cute. She's done. Look at her. <laughs> 
That's awesome. I love yeah. it. Anyway, anyway. I would love to bring my boys up here, but two jacks are like they would not sit still for oh, two I seconds. Bet, yeah. Yeah. Uh let's let's go to see what the mighty chat is saying. Yeah, Severus, you said it card art is sweet A tier. A tier art. I agree. It's freaking awesome. Oh, 42% B tier. Ugh. Right here. Right here. Come on, guys. Come on. Chat has spoken. Uh, okay, let's let's end it uh, with 38 votes. Uh, a tier for me. Chad, where are you going to put Firefly, the Blue Beetle version? B, only because of the, the sculpt of the arms and all that that I was talking about. Well, you are right on point with the chat. Blue Beetle, Firefly gets a B tier. Welcome back, B tier. I'm a man of the people. Take it's that good. grimace. Good to see you again, B tier. We don't we don't we don't have a B tier thing. We'll give a shall back. stand, one shall fall. There you go. And all I hear is friggin' you got the touch of the background. You got the power. Goosebumps. Mm-hmm. Rachel, how you doing? Welcome. Travis, good to see you. <clears throat> lots of lots of people coming in. Don't forget, guys, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please throw me a sub. Do the same for my man, Chad. Let's keep rocking and rolling. We're going to get to the Resolute. Don't you worry. But we're continuing in order-ish with the uh, 25ths. Um, Let's go here. Man, that dog is out. Well, yeah. Dog sleep. Well, I, I took her to the store and I made her work a bunch. Oh. What's up, Torch? Why does he have a cobra tattoo? I don't know. He has a cobra tattoo on his right bicep. Yep. You guys see that? Thank you, David. He does. You guys see that? He's got the uh, cobra symbol on his uh, right here. What up with that? What up with that, yo? What up with that? Uh, this is a seriously a nice update to Torch. Uh, I even prefer this to the classified one. Oh, the classified one is great. I really do think it's it's good. But this is different, right? Different colors on him. He looks, a li- I think, slightly older. I mean, you like what you like in terms of fashion. Sure, wear the vest. But he looks different enough from the vintage one. He almost looks like Monkey Wrench, actually, the toy. A little bit. Hmm. It's a good figure. Just Jeff's his brand loyalty. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, Rachel says, I like the darker blue pants. Yeah, I like the brown vest. Cobra tattoo has me a little confused. What are your thoughts, Chad? He's a good figure. Uh, the, you know, the thing about the Dreadnoughts with the modern runs, they didn't get many, you know, variants or repaints or anything like that. They just kind of put them out and moved on. So... You know, if you want them, you're that's what you're going to get. But I do like the the little subtle updates that they put on Torch. The Cobra tattoo is weird, and honestly, I don't ever remember seeing it. I had to walk over to my Dreadnought shelf and go, "Oh yeah, he does." But yeah, he's a good figure, great accessories. Um, again, the paint apps and all that stuff are, you know, they are on point, especially with all the chain work and things like that. The acetylene tank, yeah, he looks really good. I'm a fan. He's no, he's no road pig, but I still like him. No, he's definitely not road pig. You know, it's way weird. better than road pig. No, not that's not even entirely true at all. That's ridiculous. Road pig had a character. Road pig had like a personality. His personality, of the comic, by the way. Oh my god, it was so awesome, so awesome. I'll give you that. Is he tortured a vampire? Mike, yeah, Mike. He well, said, "Just be glad it's not a ninja clan tattoo." <laughs> Speaking of brand loyalty, right? Mm-hmm. Like, let's have the uh, Arashikagi symbol on your sword, on your sword sheath, on your chest, on your arm, yep. on your helmet, on your underoos, yep. on everything else. <clears throat> um, and so, yeah, for just real quick here for me and the Dreadnoughts, um, not super into them. I think they're they're fine. I, I love different factions of GI Joe, so I appreciate them. But I'm one of these crazy joe fans that likes the dreadnoughts after 
the the first three are the most iconic, of course. But I like Road Pig and Zanzibar and uh, Xandar and Zorana. I like all that yeah. really wacky stuff. I I like Thrasher and Monkey Wrench. Like to me, they're my Big, favorite yeah. Yeah. Dreadnoughts. But you know, if you notice, he's got the Cobra tattoo, but also it has the Cobra enemy on the card. It doesn't say Dreadnought or anything like that. So yeah. I guess Joe just figured they still work for Cobra, so let's lump them all together, right? Where Gem is that Headman? size answers all my questions. <laughs> so good. So good. Yeah. Um, well, look at this chat. So we got we're bouncing around here. 35% for A and B, 23% for C, and 6% for D. What? Someone doesn't like this torch. You, you know, a good look at figure is a good look at figure. And even though I'm not super like attached to the first three dreadnoughts, this is a this is a cool figure. So I and he's got I, a rubber hose. You can't go wrong with a hose. The hoses are great. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say A tier, man. Yeah, I'm gonna answer him. I have to. He's cool looking. Yep. And again, do we talk? I talked a bit. What do you think, Chad? Like he's you could tell it's torch because he's got kind of the same clothes, but they're different. Yeah, it's just, it's just a little more updated. He's got, you know, more of the straps across his vest. And yeah, they just churched him up a little bit. But he's I mean, he's still definitely torch. I like him. All right. So looks like you're gonna end it on 39% B tier. Mikey, I knew it was you. It's a, I, I, I knew it was you. Uh, we both say A, but the mighty chat, you guys are going to say B tier. Torch will go on the B, and I'm not going to argue with that one. Not at all. Not even one bit. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go. Let's have, let's have, have some fun. Let's have some fun. Ugh. Let's have some fun. Um. How would you like to tell the story of how this became a thing? <clears throat> yeah, so he was going to be in a multi-pack of figures, and they had him painted up all goofy like this, and they called him Prophet Director Destro. And it was supposed to release, and then it didn't release, and then they changed the name of it. It was a joke. It was a joke figure, a joke design. Right? Yeah. And that was during the the dark years, right? I want to say it was, yeah. I can't remember the year, right? I would have to look it up, but this is a con. Yeah, that was. I think I think it was like two thousand and one, two thousand yeah. two thousand one. The original, this is, yeah. yeah. This was a two thousand seven con exclusive. Mm -hmm. Perfect Hasbro, I love you mm -hmm. because this is the perfect figure that should be a con exclusive. Yeah, 97. We're going to see a couple others too, dude. And I agree with all the decisions. They're those ones that aren't essential to complete your Joe roster. They're just for those who, you know, like a little bit of spice. And I like that. I think it's perfect. Yeah. Like the con things, they should be a take it or leave it. You know, it shouldn't be a mainline character looking at you, Serpentor. You know, or things like that. It should be mind bender. Like this yeah. kind of stuff. Like when Classified did Profit Director Destro or Pimp Daddy or you know P Diddy, whatever people want to call it. When they did Profit Director Destro, like that should have been a con exclusive. Viper Scout, thank you. Thank you, Jim. 90, 1997. Yep. <laughs> um, all right. I don't like this. I don't like this figure at all. I, I never did. The only version I have of this is the classified one, uh, which is by far the worst. This one is much better. Um, yep. Let, listen, let, let's take it for what it is. It's a joke, and that's fine. But if they did this to Cobra Commander or Serpentor or something, you know, like it's just weird to do it to Destro. There's no way in hell Destro would ever wear this. They did a lot of modern Destros. And like I was talking about with the the Dreadnoughts, it was kind of a you get what you get. And half of them yeah. were exclusives anyway. So Thrasher was hard to find. Frickin' Road Pig was really hard to find, etc. But there's a lot of modern Destros. A lot of them. And right. um, this one being a con, okay, that's cool. 
you know, that's fine. But I always hated Pimp Daddy Destro. I think he's dumb. Yeah, it's stupid. But like, I'm a it's, hater, so. It's just so outlandish. It's so ridiculous. It's, I mean, if we're taking it super serious, jokes are supposed to be funny, right? <laughs> Some jokes are tragic, like this figure. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I mean, he should come with a cheetah. Like, I just, he should come with a cheetah companion or something. I don't know. It's just. I, and th this is where I kind of was looking at the classified stuff and the, the profit uh, director, Destro, Pimp Daddy, whatever, came out pretty early in the classified run. And that's where I was kind of like, yeah, OK, what are you doing? What's going on here? Like, why are you giving us that right now? Right? To me, it was like that. Hey, there, fellow G.I. Joe fans, you know, the Steve Buscemi freaking meme. Like, yeah, we're G.I. Joe fans, too. Look, we made, <laughs> you know, P. Diddy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have this. This one might be one where Chad and I have to. I'll pull the reins in. Where's his Louis Vuitton satchel? <laughs> See, it, listen, <laughs> listen. F you, fanboy. You think just because dude wears a leopard print against him? Ah, so good. I love your uh, intro too with. Uh, with Brody. Steve, Dave, and Brody. Oh my God, it's <laughs> yeah. so good. And I'm like, Buzz Toys. <laughs> can, can, listen, can we get just can we get like a round of applause at home for Jason Lee and how friggin' amazing he is? Oh my God, like this is to you, Lee. We're gonna get a Lee clip for next show for sure. Yeah. Um. So if you took the head off this one, if you took it and it wasn't Destro, I'd be fine with it. I just make another guy put another head on him. I don't have a problem really with the costume. I have a problem with the costume and it being on Destro. It just doesn't make sense. Hang on, I gotta blow my nose. You're all on. Right. Absorbed yeah. says this figure used to be considered one of the grails of the line. It went for a lot. Do you mean this one, the con one, or do you mean the original one? The O ring one. But regardless, yeah. Some people go gaga over Pimp Daddy, and some people don't. I've ne I've never had one. I've never wanted one, and it's just all good. Well, it's not as bad as I thought. Uh, thirty nine percent. The chat says at a C tier, with a thirty one percent second at the D tier. So we can only weigh in on the bottom of the barrel if the majority rules, which it hasn't. It's a mid tier, really. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. This is F. This is garbage for me. All day. I don't like it. I don't want it. I've seen this. Almost every store I go in that sells vintage Joe's has this on card. And it's always sitting there. It's not too outrageous for price, at least when I saw it. I just can't. I don't, I don't want it, right? But see, that's the thing. Like, a lot of the... so Yes, it's a con, yep. My my modern run from 25th all the way till 2018 is done, except for the onesie twosies that are figure subscription service the last like two years. Most of those being repaints and kit bashes that suck. And a lot of like the, the con exclusives, like the Joe Con and et cetera, et cetera. Like the the bat version two squad leader with the red instead of that fluorescent orange, that thing goes for 500 loose. Woo! I don't know what this thing goes for, but I, I'd rather have that bat version two squad later than yeah, this same. pile of crap. But the fact again, that it's a, opinions, right? The fact that it's a squad leader is cool, right? Yeah. This, I guess just the Joe fan in me is just trying to figure out where this would be in canon. And I understand it's just a joke and you're not supposed to think that way, but that's where I go, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Right or wrong, that's where I go. Yeah. Uh, Mo uh, says, I would buy this guy for 15 bucks. I saw him at a store not paying more than that, though. Yeah. yeah. And then Rachel says, Profit Director is still available at Big Bad Toy Store. Shocked and amazed. What, classified? Or this? Probably classified. Classified, oh yeah, nobody wants that. Or the statue. I don't know, whatever. Oh, the gold head variant. Yeah, this was when I was searching for images today. Again, these are not my images, right? When I was searching for this, 
the, there, there's another figure too that I could barely find a clear picture of it on the card. So yeah, this is the silverhead one, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The gold, silver, I don't really care. I think it's not dumb either way. I might have the one on a card. Oh, this version goes for less than 50 bucks? Or the other one? I don't know. Whatever. Is that here? Let me. No, she said it. not classified this figure. <laughs> this is this is gold. This is a gold head. Yeah. This figure is still in Big Bad Toy Store. Rachel, can you imagine the 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 dust on that thing when they have to pick it up and try and ship it to somebody? All right, set, send the bat signal to this guy. Let's get him in here. Yeah, you want to talk about a pricey figure? That Roddy Piper, the Grenadier Roddy Piper. Oh, yeah. You right, want right. a bat signal his ass? I'll get yeah, it. Yeah, go for it. I, I have no idea what a Roddy Piper figure is. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, okay, well, let's do it. Um, C tier, 42%. Uh, F tier for me, Chad. F. Okay. Well, Guess I, feel, I feel like we should overthrow, but I'm not going to. If it was a D, then we would overthrow it, right? That's kind of the rule. I know, I know, but I, I just, I'm so, I so strongly dislike that figure. It might be my least favorite. That my least favorite like Joe. That. Sorry. Mikey, check your Facebook. All right, we're moving on. We are moving on from Profit Director Destro to one of Chad's guys. Um, you sent me this one. You sent me this guy. I did. And I what, a, what an awesome love. figure. I love this figure. Yeah, it's I great. I love, love, love him. Um, mine's displayed with his mind detector on his back, and he's holding an M249 squad automatic weapon. And um, I've also said numerous times how I army build tripwires. I just change yep. out the heads, but I, I love everything about the buck. Now, granted, it, it's a big reuse buck because you got Grand Slam, you got Flash, um, you got Thunder, or Sergeant Thunder, as they call him now, and so on and so forth. The buck gets reused a lot, but it's a great buck. Um, even down to the, the paint tampo right here, everything about this figure is freaking money. So good. And he has that mid forearm swivel, but it's at the top of his glove and it works perfectly. So good. I, I've often said that during our play times in my circle of friends, no one wanted to be tripwire. Um, the, the real American hero tripwire to me, I appreciate more now was always kind of dorky looking. This one makes him look super cool. Like this figure is fire. Hell yeah. Didn't know until I had him in my hands. Thank you to Chad for that. And he's he's beautiful, man. He's so great. Uh, James, good evening. I put Destro Wait. in the wrong spot. Wait. What was he? What was he again? C? C. Sorry, my bad. Thank you. My bad. Ooh, I should I should get him. I should get punished for that. Hang on, I'm coming. All right, so make me big. That's what she said. All right, so check this out, right? Um, 50th anniversary sci-fi, or I'm sorry, Pursuit of Cobra sci-fi. That's his other head. Look at it on that book. It yeah. looks great, right? Got a little it, does, flash, it does look like Flash. little Flash going on there, yeah. but he's kind of cool. See, I put little, little numbers on their arms. And then um, Steel Brigade. Can't go wrong with that, right? Oh, that's great. Yeah, you're right. His body's great for army builder. Just, just G him up. Fantastic. So good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a knock at the door. Um, uh, I don't. I don't know. Chad, do you want to answer that? You want to see who's here? Hello. Hello. Who's oh. that? Who's there? Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hello, friends. <laughs> he didn't like me blowing up the chat. It's, hello, it's all. Dear. It's old sweet mouth. Sweet mouth. <laughs> who, who from my high school have you been talking to? <laughs> the principal. Oh, that's definitely not true. <laughs> they all hated my shit. Uh, things just got a lot more something. interesting. Something they got something. 
Welcome on in, Mikey. How you doing, buddy? Doing well. How are you? Good. See, you just you talk enough in the chat. You get oh, just invite him for God's sake. <laughs> there we go. Like Mikey's here, everyone. Mikey's a big winner. Who's a big winner? Yeah. Mikey's a big winner. <laughs> Mikey's a big winner. There you go. Look at this guy. Yeah. Hi guys. Ladies. Oh, um, how are we? Yes, that is one of the elements for the mass device. Oh. How great That's was it this line had the weather dominator and the mass device? Oh, but the mass device isn't to scale, actually. I don't care. The Neither is the it. weather dominator. Like this <laughs> the fact that, hey, what's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that kind of size, is there? That's what I she mean, said. <laughs> I mean, as long as you hit the corners and smack them in the mouth, no, you're good. Easy, Ew. sweet mouth. <laughs> God. You started it. Okay. Yeah, we're getting Cobra Liquidator vibes now. Travis, Bishop, Sci-Fi Nerd, anyway, got to head off now. Late here. Good night, guys. Enjoy the stream. Good night, Travis. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, buddy. Absolutely. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Mikey, you're here for Tripwire, but do you have anything mm -hmm. to say on the other four guys that we've kind of gone through? Any any thoughts on Destro, maybe, or Blue Firefly? Well, I mean... What's what's there to say about Destro? I mean, he's just he's just glorious, you know. And that leopard you like, brand. You like it? No, I don't. Okay, I don't. Wait, <clears throat> I don't like it. Um, Torch, you saw what I voted for that one. Um, couldn't couldn't select the F tier, so I had to give him the D. Yeah, you don't like uh, Torch, yeah. Firefly, I really like that sculpt. Um, so I I think that one's pretty good, but B is accurate, and Doc is. I put him at a B myself, but yeah, that's me. Greetings. I've been left scarred and deformed, but my resolution has never been stronger. The Republic will be reorganized into the first galactic empire. <laughs> he said it. He said the thing that he became. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, B tier. Uh, Tripwire is an A tier for me, Chad. A. All day. A tier. Baby. Mikey. This pretty, he's good. Um, I'll give him an A. I'll give him an A. Yeah, he's pretty better. solid. You, yeah, you better he's pretty solid. Me. Portions uh, are really good. But the, the chat does not agree. The chat says B tier with 47%. Well, the chat can get... Um, Pericles Ridiculous. says, did we ever get the Pyramid of Darkness? No, we did not. Uh, and we got, remember the cool DVD <laughs> set we got for Arise, Serpentor Arise? It was so great, man. We got the little great skeleton, the tomb skeletons and stuff like that. Oh. That skeleton's mm -hmm. chilling in the jail cell of one of my terror drum levels, and he's just leaning against the door. Just all he's sad. been there for a minute. <laughs> yeah, he's all sad and dead. It's pretty frail. I think mine was broken, but anyway. Yeah, it, it, and it will not stand. The only way no, you can no. make it stand is you lean it against something. Well, he's just I mean, laying in there looking like Steeler and Clutch. Yeah. World without Zen. Yeah. No! Ripper. Ripper. So again, we are going in order here until we get more, to more, more animal print. Resolute. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Why is his head so big? Oh, it's, it's not. It's not that bad. No, it's not. Yeah, it's you know, it's one of the one of the comic versions of Ripper, just like with uh, Firefly. There, mm -hmm. the chat's saying Tripwire should be a tier. Ripper is better than Torch. The chat is smoking. <laughs> Look, you you guys are the ones voting on this crap. It's, it's all up to you. It's all up to you, right? Civic duty. Mr. Former President, it's all about democracy. Am I right? The public votes? In this case, yes. Yes. Good on you. Keep voting. <laughs> it's your civic duty. I gave Chad a uh, uh, domain over the stream and he's drunk with power. With you zooms. told me to drive it. I'm drunk. I'm over here driving it. Look at power. I put myself down here so nobody has to look at me. 
Does Ripper's head look goofy to you? He look he looks like his entire character looks goofy, dude. He looks like someone's cosplaying as Ripper. No offense to cosplayers, I'm just saying. <clears throat> it looks like somebody else. Yeah, he doesn't look like the card art. His face I don't looks think... like one of the bad guys from Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah. He's going off his eyebrows. They're like crazy high. Yeah, the the head sculpt. It's not it. I don't think he, it's oversized because I have him loose, but it's can you not grab that it? Great. Yeah, I, I, got want to, I want to see that one. Fine. Show it to me. Yeah. Thanks, Absorb Vids. Yeah, and you know, nothing against cosplayers. I'm just saying it's looks like somebody cosplayed. Yeah, you know. Back about G.I. Joe costumers now. Dude, I used to do Star Wars. We're not getting into this again. This All figure right. is definitely not the finest. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, you uh? said the thing he's a part of. Uh, mm -hmm. little blurry, little blurry. Come on, man. Come on. Man. Come on. Do it. Do something. Focus. 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 <laughs> Worst. Bro. Are you doing yeah. it's like a oh, super grover thing? Back, back a little bit. A little bit more Far. back. Super grover. Near. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, something off about him. There we go. There, there, there go. we go. There we go. The right hand was the answer. Uh, it's it's all right. It's all right. Oh, oh. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, he looks drunk. Yeah. Well, he's got like a thing going on. Yeah. Too he's much been grape pretty soda. deep into the grape soda. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, whatever. Not not the greatest. Um, I don't really have much to say. I get his uh original three dreadnoughts. Uh Zartan, yes, forget Zartan. The original three henchmen. Um see, I I uh, actually myself, so you guys don't have to do it. I just do it. I catch myself right away. Uh, Self-actualization. <laughs> yeah. Do I want this? Sure. But barely. And I'm not paying much for it. C tier. Mikey? You're generous. That's a, that's a... Well, I, I, you have to have Ripper in your collection. I'm sorry. You have to. I think you do. Uh, I beg to differ, sir. Uh, D. D! Woo! Only because the F has to wait till the chat says something. Chad, you seven Am, throw, I, the, am seven I the only one that has? Hey, am I the only one that has this figure loose, like in hand? Can hold it out of the three of us? Yes. I this version, know. yes. Then I'm going to give him a B. I don't have this because if you really look at this figure, the necklace is perfect. The paint apps on that, the grenades look good. The way that they put the brown on the handle of the knife and the sheath facing up. His freaking wallet chain is good. He's actually wearing a strap that holds his backpack rather than just like floating around. He's got some good stuff going on with this figure. I'm going to give him a B. The head, not so much. It's not that bad when you really, really look at it, but I'm giving him a B. Yeah. Am I the only one that the blue ankle joint bothers? Nope. Okay. All right. Just just wanted just wanted that for. Just, oh yeah, yeah. It's just it's wanted like, to know. It's like right that is, there. That is crazy obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what stuff like that reminds me of though? Go ahead. Insert jokes. Dead it reminds animals on me, the side of the road. <laughs> laziness. No, it reminds me that it's still a toy. So I don't really care much about stuff like that. That's just me though. This, but you this know what he can the toy do? Equivalent of Hollywood writing. Right he here. can hold all of his accessories either in his hands or on the hooks on his backpack. Well, props for that. That is something. That is something. Agreed. Well, we're tied. B and C at thirty-eight percent. So someone's got to make a call. Someone's got to do something. Now, let me log back into YouTube. Someone's got to do something over here. Are we just going to go with the higher go? Or we're going to go with B. All right, let's go with B. Yeah, because we always err on the side of, right? If it's lower, we go higher. B tier. So agreeing, Chad in the chat with the B. Well, what did you give him, Mikey? I forget. Mm, D. D, that's right. I gave a C tier. Okay. Matlock! <laughs> Matlock! Alexa, put on Matlock. Damn you, Google Box. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how I hate this thing. <laughs> I hate this thing. 
Mm. I hate, I hate this toy. I hate everything about it. Not about it, about it. Chad making biggies about to rant. Why? Turn my mic up. Why are you called <laughs> Crimson Guard? If you don't have any red on you! Ooh, to give in to your actually, anger. he's got a uh, red applets and uh, oh, you know, yeah, the yeah, red accents. Actually, you gotta know, look at the accents, uh, there's still crimson as well as the cobra symbol on his chest. There, see, Beach is being nice and says banana man. I was gonna call him piss on patrol. <laughs> oh my god, uh, yes. mm. even, even though I have this even, figure, even crimson guards need sniper bait. All day, baby. That dog is oh. still in the same spot. That dog. Are you sure? Is it? Is she breathing? Is she She's breathing? Good. That yeah, dog okay. All right. Back. That was really worth on the escalator. <laughs> there you go. Hope his pants get caught in a bloodbath ensues. <laughs> actually, oh, I got actually. Actually, his pistol holster is crimson. Hugh J, thank you very much. Uh, actually, didn't I say all that? That he has a uh, red uh, appellates and uh, well, we have, oh, thank you. Listen, you, know, you know what I, I want? That. Listen, you know what I want in my crimson guard? Crimson banana blouse here. You want? You want one of these? And I'll, I'm just joking around here. Um, in all seriousness, no, no, I no. Think the thing that really does it for me, hey George. George. The thing I don't like is it's the gray face mask makes him look like a bootleg figure. That's the or, thing you don't like about this figure is a gray. Out, face of, mask. out of everything, it's always been the gray mask. <laughs> I think if you didn't call this, like, just do like a, a, a color swap. I'm fine with that. Call it something else, some other kind of soldier. I'd be fine with that. But the fact that they're disgracing the Crimson Guards by dragging them first off in the Python Patrol garbage unit and second off, taking all the Crimson away! Yeah, you know what it kind of reminds me of is in Deadpool when he has to wear the, the bright colored suit when they go when they go to the uh, the Essex house. Yeah. Like, all the Crimson Guards get to look cool and menacing and they're just like, yeah, yeah, trainee, put this yellow blouse on. Are you sure? The soccer jersey. <laughs> Lou, this one's for you, buddy. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Hell yeah. Awesome. awesome. Uh, anyway, rant's over. Does anyone you, you guys say say something about this? What do you I mean how come to... we don't how come we don't get crimson twins that match this ridiculous color? Oh don't stop it. Stop it. Well, we're getting those red ones with bareness, or that came out for classified, right? I I got two of those turds. I'm gonna I'm gonna paint them to look like this. Just to those don't look good part. either. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic patrol. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it yeah, looks, this, this is actually the the marching band attire for the Crimson Guards. And look at his look at this the card the, art. He's actually like tripping. He's even tripping in the card art, man. Like, it's just total humiliation. What? Under under the uh, under the helmet, you know, he's just like... He's just doing that, right? He's just so upset. You can tell. He's like, why did I have to be this friend? Why couldn't I be All I wanted friend? to be was a freaking televiper. What the fuck? I feel like this, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. this figure comes up a lot, Chad. I, I we talk about this guy. He just keeps popping his ugly head around. And again, again, it's my distaste for it is because, like Destro, it's taking a classic figure, character, whatever you want, and disgracing him. But hey, there you go. It's interesting that the modern went with this, you know, urine yellow, and then uh, classified went with like that funky, like pus color. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if it's worse or better, to be frank. Um, I agree with this. Son of Moog says yeah. nice web. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up, Son of Moog? Welcome in. I want to highlight cut through it there for a sec. <clears throat> this one? Yeah. 
you you uh my my anger is is for comedic purposes i am yeah. i'm not mad and i'm not being mean i'm just being truthful i i just don't i don't like it i think it's just a terrible looking figure um the the cobra the cobra trooper who's in python patrol is bad enough but this is really bad and i know you're just joking around too buddy but i'm just saying yeah we all have our different opinions right so yeah and then woodman's talking about the shadow guard the shadow guard is freaking amazing yeah sure. see that would yeah, look that's great cool. that's cool but they changed the name right yeah yep so you don't just don't call it crimson guard you could have called this python patrol guard python guard Dude, Whatever. I would have been. I would. The hate would just back right off. I wouldn't like it. Still, but crim. It's the crimson in the title that does it for me. It's just lazy. It's dumb. Uh, this for me, F tier, hundred percent garbage. <laughs> Where's the chat? Uh sorry. The chat is. Oh baby, fifty six percent D tier. Mikey. Uh, D. Chad, do it. You have them in the collection, so you can't D tier him. Yeah, I I actually think I have two. Um, I'm no, the no, no, C no, 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 no. That me, you have him in the collection. That's fine. It's like right now. If you didn't have him in the collection, would you want him in the collection? Well, yeah, because I bought two of them. Yeah, you already um, answered that because he bought two. So it's at least a C. You would still want it right now? Yeah. That's what I mean, right? Yeah, I I, I got to be fair, right? Because I have two of them. I got to be fair. Yeah. So, unless uh, unless you go throw them in the trash right now, it has to be a C tier base. I feel I feel like that's that's fair. Mm -mm. No. So what? C? Yeah, yeah, me. I'm going to say C cuz they they actually they they look good in in a couple of vehicles couple of deals. well the the chat said oh, no. bottom of the barrel 55 percent d tier for banana guy see you later there putts what a fool hit the break yeah, for d tier can you do a batman just saying justice <laughs> i don't know i don't I'll analyze it with science <laughs> yeah well, i want the pete holmes justice <laughs> I don't have throat cancer. <laughs> He's just taking a nap. He's a dire guy. He's all tuckered out. <laughs> He's all tuckered. Oh, baby. God, I love you. Can you grab this one? <clears throat> oh, it's another, it's another Python Patrol character. <laughs> <laughs> See, listen, if the, Mike, Mikey, you just said it. Why couldn't they make the Python Patrol Crimson Guard in this color scheme? Perfect. I'd be fine with that. Perfect. Um, this is not the same one. No, that's a fiftieth. Yeah, yeah, that's different. Yeah, same body, but different different colors. Not as glossy. Yeah. Does he yeah. come with that axe? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, that's great. That's beautiful yeah. looking. Yeah. Yeah, it's a different one. All right. Who wants to start talking about blowtorch? I got to do the poll. God, damn it. Right. Right. Somebody, well, please. Here's, nose here's, goes, Mikey. Nose, I'm get gonna, to I'm it. Sure. Here's here's Blowtorch and all of his. Oh no, he's a hater. Glory. He's a hater. <laughs> he's a hater. <laughs> oh, Blowtorch. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. I, it's to be a shorter list of what's right with Blowtorch. He's got a cool helmet and mask. Dude, End shut list. your freaking mouth! Oh my god, Bird burglar. No, blowtorch is the shit. I love. He is shit. I agree. But shut your mouth, man. No, no. He's the colors of fire. It's psychological warfare. This dude is awesome through and through. And they gave him the throwback with the OD green, uh, standard issue M2 flamethrower. Actually, freaking awesome figure. Awesome. Now, granted, I like the one that I have more, but it's still a rad figure, and I love blowtorch as a character. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Even Kali loves blowtorch. Yeah, but uh, dogs eat poop sometimes. So, I mean, that's not that crazy. It's I called Kitty a... Roca. Guys, real quick here, I want to give a shout out to my man Jeff here. Um, he does Oof. he does gaming live streaming like I do. So I urge all you guys to check out Jeff's channel. 
he's always hanging out in mind so i appreciate it very much good to see you buddy um i want to know okay mikey so let's let's get into this okay you don't like blowtorch just in general or this yeah, figure like blowtorch. Okay. i've never liked blowtorch so what's up with what's up with that uh he just doesn't doesn't look like a look look like look like a joe to me he really looks, yeah i just don't don't care for it at all so never you, you know watching the cartoon when i was a kid i, I just not not a fan i i understand the 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 drive to have a flamethrower guy i mean i'd get that you know like world war ii stuff but yeah he doesn't have a place in my in my uh in my joes wow I call bs i call bs it's not bs it's true why is your camera not working i'm putting away all the figures that you make me pull out jerk you do that at the end of the show <laughs> Dude, I'm running out of desk space. <laughs> okay, let me ask you a question there, Michael. My okay. friend Michael. Oh, here we go. Okay. What about this trash? One? What about this trash? One? Oh, that's Mikey. Oh, wrong. Here we go. That one's trash too. Yeah. Why? Uh, color swap. Color swaps don't don't make it. I, better. I, I, don't, say, I don't. I don't like the sculpt or anything. I gotta movie. agree with Mikey on that one. That I don't like that blowtorch. Sorry, I don't. James is on Mikey's side. Uh, okay, I'm opposite. I'm with Chad. I love Blowtorch. Every version. Uh, the vintage one is gorgeous. This one is way better looking. Um, yeah, this figure's awesome, man. Yes, he was I, in a two-pack with the Heat Viper. So do you think it would matter if... So, Mikey, let's just say he was a green shirt Joe. And he was just a generic flamethrower named Blowtorch. He didn't have all the yellow and red. Would you still be in the same boat? I'm not trying to change yeah. your mind. I'm just curious. Is it the colors that you don't like? The the color the colors is the first thing you see, so it's definitely the most obtrusive. But, um, yeah, I I I don't want a uh, pipe bomb strapped to the back of any of my GI Joes. So flamethrowers don't have a don't have a place. You want fire? No, no char no, no, Nope, none of them. Ice cream soldier? No. <laughs> Oh, Charbroil's no. terrible. He's terrible. No, like no, Ice Cream Soldier, awesome sculpt. So 2000s awesome repaint, 2000s repaint shock, shock, shock trooper, I'm in. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. Yeah, that is the most ridiculously colored Joe, <laughs> and that includes all of the 90s figures. <laughs> oh, my God. He's he's such a great-looking figure. Oh, yep. He almost looks like a Centurion, this version here. He does, yeah. Power so, Extreme. Yeah, so cool. I, I love it. A tier all day long for me. Um, yeah, you want to highlight some uh, chat, Chad? Let's yeah, I did. Woodman yeah. said he uses this uh, OD green and brown one for his uh, Night Force blowtorch, which is oh nice. That's a good match. That's cool. <clears throat> is there a reason for the Lego circles? Nah, it's just the armor. Um, yeah, that's father son. That's what I was saying about the Centurions. It reminds yeah. me or Mentech. Yeah, yeah. Absorb it's it. Card art is great. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. Yeah. I agree. Well, okay, Mikey. So are you, what, what's your vote? I know where you're going, but you think you know where I'm going, but I own a handful of these because heat vipers are way cooler than blowtorch. So I'll gladly pay twenty to twenty five dollars for that two pack and put this one in the never use pile. <laughs> Send them over here, dude. <laughs> you want them? Yeah, <laughs> you want them? I love, okay. I love him. <clears throat> I don't think all of them have all of their stuff, but yeah, give it have them, dude. <laughs> okay, so where would you put them? Uh, well, I have him, but I would gladly get rid of them. But I'm gonna go on the basis of I own it, so C tier. Man, I, I I hope this is just cracking a joke, dude. That's okay, a lot. So of, let that's let, a lot let of me ages. clarify. I don't know if this is different or not i'm just going to try and walk through this so a c tier we decided doesn't matter if it's in your collection again okay let's just say if it was taken out would you go out tomorrow or in the future and buy it again god no does that change anything i would never willfully purchase this figure sure. to have this figure right so there you go so then you could put it below c if you want and i'm not trying to dump blowtorch i'm just saying I'm just saying. There's, See, there's... and this, that. 
that's the thing. See, we can be friends and fundamentally disagree on a figure and it's yep. okay. It's okay. And that's, that's the stuff that we talk about all the time. It's like toys, man. I'm not going to go wrecking Mikey on social media. He's not going to do the same to me. It's funny. It's mm-hmm. okay. Like it's, it's totally cool. It's okay if you don't. I like mean, if them. all of us just agreed on this on the on every figure, would this would suck. just be so boring. Yeah. Everything would suck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Opin- opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one, and Wotorch here has like ten across his uniform. <laughs> <laughs> so they're sphincter valves. Yeah, yeah. They're, just, they're to they're to help help him breathe under that suit. You move milkers. He's got, the, he's got the meat sweats from all those pork chop sandwiches. <laughs> pork chop sandwiches. That's the best thing Blowtorch ever did. He didn't even do it. Um, remember when they put move milkers in Star in Star Wars, and they thought that it was gonna catch on? Like, yeah, yeah, no, like Mm-mm. Gundarks. Anyway, um, remember Gundarks, kid? Well, what about my, uh, remember my uh, mm. Okay, come on, buddy, you're up. I said a. What do you say, Chad? Oh, I'm right here with Woodman, baby. S tier. Holy Lord. Well, we can't do that, but we can do A. 61%. I can say it for posterity's sake. This figure is freaking awesome. Everything. I mean, if the, you the like Blue Torch, mask, this is a great helmet. One. Love it. Yeah, he's he's not a terrible sculpt by any means. If you're into Blowtorch, that's Blowtorch. No doubt about it. Oh, I'm into Blowtorching and Z-Jobs and Blumpkins and... <laughs> So the way the way the way you voted on that one, you could leave off the torch. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's give it up for Blowtorch. Whether you like him or not, good job, buddy. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, yeah. Um, and I gotta say, chat, I'm loving the new idea you guys gave us because it makes the S tier even that much sweeter and the F tier that much more stinkier. So I'm loving it. Doing loving it for freedom. Look, it's hey, there's blow torch. Yeah. Smells like someone shit in their cereal. Bong. <laughs> that was oh. good. Come on in. <laughs> uh, Cobra Ninja Viper. Uh, I don't think he was a con exclusive. No, he was not. Check it back here. The Cobra Ninja Viper, I believe, is just a reuse of Storm Shadow V2 which I think is just fine. I dig this figure. Um, I still need the one for Real American Hero. Uh, I don't care that it's just a repaint. I love ninjas. I love me some 80s ninjas. The colors on this guy are pretty pretty cool. Even though I don't like... What is this, teal? I don't usually yeah, like teal, but I like it on this one. Uh-oh. Boo, ninjas. I agree. I agree. Oh, I agree, but this is an inter- another international Joe? figure. Even GI Joe, man, like we got no. Jay, he's knocks, an international. No flamethrowers, no ninjas. Jeez, he's international. He's not front. He's not a. He's not a United States character. Does that help? He's Cobra. He's somebody else's GI Joe. All that matters. He'll kill. He'll kill anybody. Well, he'll hey, kill, he'll kill war, everybody he with the vintage price tag. Of what so, it this is based on the Cobra Weapon X consumer, right? From the real American hero ish days. Was yeah. he a mail away? I thought he was international. He's a mail away. No, it's a direct to consumer. No, Ninja Viper was 1992. Yep, absolutely. You got, you got him? Me? Yeah. This one? Well, where were you going? You went over there? I thought no, you were I, it. it, it no, it's called a ruse. I put my hat on my microphone and I left because I hate this figure. <laughs> oh, here we go. The big opinions again. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last show. I can't be friends with these guys anymore. They don't think exactly how I do. Who's that? I can't even see anymore. Where are we? Okay, I, I love it. What's wrong with this figure? Nothing. It's great. Chad's going to go roll around in his pile of blowtorches. He's got Zuzi 9mm. He's got the Wolverine claws. He's got these children of the corn things. He's got this Ninja Turtle sewer. It's great. <laughs> this, and he's this was teal. before Vega went to Street Fighter. This is, this, is, this is Vega right here. 
No, but, but not really, though, at all, actually. <laughs> but, no, hey, no. Destro's here. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Excellent. You're watching three, three, uh, the three amigos fight. It's a fight to the death tonight. Okay, so I'm I'm all for this guy. Let's go down to Chad here, and then we'll go to Mikey last. What are you thinking about? What do you think about the Ninja Viper in general? And then what do you think of this version of Ninja Viper, Chad? Never, never liked the whole Ninja Viper idea. It was just a repaint of Storm Shadow. I I get that some people like them and they want them and. Uh, actually, he wasn't a repaint. He was molded in green. <laughs> oh, my God. One shall stand. One shall fall. It's, it's, a, go, it's, a, it's a go time. <laughs> <laughs> Shut, <That's> your <laughs> Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. The sculpt of this figure is good. Right. Um, this is entirely based on Storm Shadow version two, which is a great sculpt. So I'm I'm not against that. It, it's just a it's a personal belief that ninja the word ninja, the whole premise of ninja in GI Joe starts and stops with Storm Shadow. And that's just me. But the sculpt of the figure is good. I don't have a problem with it at all. Does have good accessories, not necessarily a vomitorium, but has good accessories. Yeah. And I'm going to leave it at that because I'm trying to compliment sandwich this thing. I hear you. I yeah. hear you. All right, Mikey, you're up. All right. <clears throat> uh -oh. That's great. D Daredevil Dave says, great figure, but ninjas do not belong in G.I. Joe. Just this guy right here. They don't. That's true. Agreed. I agree with that. Chad, I agree with that. Wrong! But, come here. I always liked the, well, all I had to see this figure, the original one, was a trading card, and I always thought it looked cool. Mm, yeah. But, I don't like ninjas in my adult life. But, like Chad said, this is a decent sculpt. So if you like the Storm Shadow, then there's no reason not to like this one unless you just don't like ninjas, which Chad and I don't. And I don't like the color of this one as opposed to the original one. I like the darker teal. I think that looks cooler, but since he's not for me, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Well, we're all kind of... Uh, what's the chat saying? <coughs> Shredder? Pastel, yeah. Uh, ninjas don't belong to GI Joe. I like the fact that he has an Uzi. It just makes him less skilled. Or like Ninja Vipers from the streets. He he thinks he's on the well. Snake Eyes has a Uzi. What's the difference? Snake Eyes isn't a ninja. He's a commando, bro. Oh, that's right. Really? <laughs> that scared really? my dog. <laughs> you, you want me to call Larry Harvest's phone number right now? He's not a ninja until we're not going to ask Larry Hama. He he's a commando. You don't want me to call Larry Hama? Okay, I think. Look, I think Larry I, Hama just would look disagree. at the file card. It says commando. Call, call like, Larry Hama and whoever's You're hanging on to the past, man. You don't know snake eyes like I do. He's a street fighter now. He can talk. Somebody call Lenny over at Hasbro and ask him his stupid opinion. Yeah. Let's hey, hear what on. Emily hey. has to say. Maybe hey. she can talk about cheeseburgers. Yeah. Wow, nobody likes ninjas here. <laughs> wow. There Come you go. Up. Yeah, Ninja Viper didn't choose the street life. Street life chose Ninja Viper. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When he can't get to the, right. the store, he's like, all right, that's it. It's go time. Look, we spent way more time on this pile than we did on my boy Tripwire. Hey, pile. Stop it. Stop it. Let's go. Okay, let's let's go. Let's go. Uh 35% B tier. But first, that's the ch the chat. We'll go with that. I say A tier. That's me. A tier yeah. all day long. Mikey? Um C. C tier, okay. Chat? What did you say? Enunciate. What'd you say? C. C as in Charlie? Charlie. Mm -hmm. Oh, I say I say D as in D What was D that? Tier. So D, D is in what? D <laughs> <S> <laughs> <tier>. <laughs> All 
dumb. Oh. Oh, we already rated Blowtorch. We're talking about Ninja Viper now. E. He'll fight for freedom whenever there's time. Dee 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 doo doo. Hey, it's Duke. Look, he's wearing something different. Here comes First Sergeant Duke. Ladies and gentlemen, now to the Hasbro meat. will reuse this mold an infinite amount of times in the fight for Cobra. In the meat of the episode. Yeah. Uh, now going down the list of the 25ths and up, these guys popped up. Not all of them, but some. So this will be part part one. Resolute, as we've talked about at the beginning of the broadcast, I think was the best thing to happen to G.I. Joe Real American Hero since the origin of the Sunbow cartoon. I don't think anything has come close. And it makes me happy to hold this, but it also makes me sad because I wish we had more. This is like... Lightning in a bottle, one little last present, and uh, that's it. But we got this. It's pretty damn yeah. good. You guys have seen it. You have that. Check it out. It's amazing. This is Duke from Resolute. Duke has a scar. Yes. Duke looks older. Yes. He sounds grittier right on. And he has, wait for it, different clothing. Mm. I love it. I love it. And you know what? When I look at this Duke, do you know who I see? I see Duke still. You don't have to put him in the same clothes from 1984. Is that because the package says Duke? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kiwi, what's up? Good Damn to see it. you. Uh, Kiwi, what's Kiwi. up, mate? How are you doing? Good evening. All right. Duke. Oops. His, his scar goes all the way back to the 64 action soldier. Mm -hmm. He is the G.I. Joe. He is he the G.I. Joe. Joe. And that's why they did it to him in the Rise of Cobra movie when, you know, that building got blown up and supposedly Mindbender was in there with, you know, going to become Cobra commander and he got the scar. Yeah. Total throwback action soldier. <sighs> this is awesome. Mm -hmm. there, there are some flaws. Um, mm -hmm. he's got the thicker thighs mm. not a big deal mm. I, I think the fact that we're just seeing at this point in time 2009 G.I. Joe move forward it was so exciting to me and again we didn't know that that was going to be it for this particular version of G.I. Joe so when I saw these come out like even the banner is different like the, the American flag is ripped and torn and uh, the Joes are ripped and torn. The vehicles have been updated. Um, like little things, like I said, Doc, uh, Doc is older. He's got white hair. Stalker has long dreadlocks now. Little things like that. Uh, they all look a little futuristic, but you still know who they are. I love it. I, I don't really have anything bad to say about Resolute in general. Um, I even don't mind how they change some of the stories for some of the characters. I was fine with it. What about you, Mikey? You said that this was one of your first Joe experiences, right? No. It was someone else in the it chat. Was, My bad. It was not. What's up, Oz? Uh, right. I just want to say hi to Oz real quick. Oz. So let's uh, talk about Re Resolute. This is the best iteration of G.I. Joe outside of pages of a comic book. 100%. Hands down. Yep. Uh, will not tolerate any disagreement on that. None. That is. We will, is we will so beat the shit right out of you. <laughs> Slightly disappointing that uh, that that blood goes down because I really like Major Blood, yeah. but Bazooka goes down totally makes up for it. But isn't that the the tone for it? Right, we see Major Blood dead right away, and he's a major character. We're like uh, huge character. Oh, yeah. okay. This um, is real. <laughs> yeah, he's like, also a mercenary, right? And so, really, in the in the tone of Major Blood's relationship with the Cobra organization, he's he's kind of paid, and so yeah, Cobra Commander paid him with that. Yeah, but I agree. I do love Sebastian Blood, and I, I would have liked to have seen more of him. And he's not a he's not a real like he's not an intro you know a super important character in the lore of GI Joe. He is a yeah. very cool character, but yeah. he's not super important because he's you would imagine standing over here. 
Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a Merc. So he's probably not there all that often. He's probably doing other stuff around the world, you know, yeah. helping yeah. other terrorist organizations or whatever. Yeah. Kind of so like the way that not a, not a big Firefly. deal. You know, Firefly right. and Resolute, you just like, he sets up the launcher, he fires it. You never see him again. Yeah. You, you don't kinda... need to. And it's great. I love it. And it's I awesome. also love Firefly look awesome. completely different too. It's great. I love that. Yeah. Every, everybody got kind of a little bit of an update. Yep. And much more serious tone yeah so the cartoon's awesome and and this figure is pretty pretty great um they do they did reuse the crap out of this body but since since duke was the first i definitely he definitely gets a pass on that and i yeah not only that but they they did that in 82 they did that with oh yeah they still do it like legends that everybody reuses bodies but yeah I mean, every toy manufacturer that is, exists reuses it. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, why does Skeletor have webbed feet? <laughs> yeah, look at, look at <laughs> He Man is the worst, right? I mean, the best, but the worst in terms of literally every male figure looks the same except this or this. Yep. And every female looks the same too. But as kids, I didn't care about that, it didn't bother me at all. Uh, Two dollars no, from all. Figure Fever. Thank you so much, buddy, for the hey. super chat. Good evening, Jay, Mikey, Chad, and chat members. Good evening to you, my friend, and thank you for the two dollars. <coughs> Thanks, buddy. Um, hey, and buddy. You, you too, Mikey and Chad are obviously big time. Um, <laughs> the word escaped me. Figure customizers, shitbirds, oh. no, <laughs> figure customizers. So you guys are. Better at picking that out than me. Like, I don't look at this Duke and see, oh, there's Flash's torso and this and that, right? Um, so you guys would know that it's been reused a lot. Um, the thing out I just love that we're moving forward with G.I. Joe. Yeah, so it was a fresh take. That's super refreshing. It's so great. And it's continuing but changing at the same time. Like I said, even the, the flag is completely different looking. You got something to show? I'll wait. You'll wait. Yeah. No, that's it. That's it. Uh, and oh, one last thing. The very beginning, too, the flag gets the crap bomb note of it. Here's the biggest G.I. Joe playset. Remember this one? Boom, boom, boom. Doesn't get destroyed, but it gets taken down pretty good. Like, well, it's it, no joke. It does later. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, yeah, the flag gets attacked twice. If it wasn't built to G.I. Joe specs, it'd have been on the bottom of the ocean. Um, then they'd have to raise it. So, if you take a look at this Duke figure, um, of, of all the operating environments that I've been in, at least they freaking updated it because this is like my no shit kit right here. Wow. And I mean, look at what he's wearing and then look at this, right? Like this is, it, it's pretty freaking dead. Oh, I still have chem lights. Sweet. It's, you know, <laughs> you can take me off. It, it's pretty freaking dead on. But it's when a legit light carrier, at, no doubt. When you look at the soldiers who were operating in specifically Iraq at that time, right? He's got the elbow pads. He's got the gloves. The sleeves are up a little bit. You know that he's used to being in like a hotter environment. The collar's kind of out. Combat shirt, you know, a, a really. Um... Sorry. Um, you lost your thought. Moment. I've had that twice today. Yeah, twice well, today. I've, mine's been getting worse lately, but. You know, the, the plate carrier that he wears, it's applicable to the stuff that we wear now. His pants are unbloused. Like, th this guy's ready to put in some work. It's a great update to do. So I, I just, I love the way that they designed everything in Resolute. Yeah, they reused a lot of stuff. But for Duke, you know, going from, you know, the 83 mail away actually with the flag to the 84 Duke to this, it's a good progression of Duke. And Star Brigade Duke, of course, is in there because he's also oh, great. Yes. He's <laughs> also great. I'm not talking about Duke in space. I'm talking about like Duke on the ground being operation. Duke in, in space. space. <laughs> All right. So uh S tier for me, Mikey. Um wait, can can we put him on S or do we have to wait for the chat for that? We we vote and um, we can say what we want now. If it's at the A tier, which it is at fifty three percent, if we all three agree it's an S, it goes on the S. If it's all on the D and we all three agree it's an F, it goes down there. Yep. Okay. All right. Um. With that being said, 
Um, I think this deserves an S. If for no other reason, this pushed G.I. Joe into another arena. Agreed. And elevated the story for people that <clears throat> fell in love with the OG stuff. Chad? Apparently I'm in trouble because I <laughs> because of my comment on the flag. Uh yeah, he's S tier all day. Absolutely. So the chat says 53%. The panel says S tier. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first S tier figure of the night. No freaking joke. And that's the way the freaking live action movie figures should have looked. Operational, not wearing Congratulations, weird Duke. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah buddy. <laughs> Fight for freedom whenever there's time. Duke's on the <laughs> ST. No one ever yells at me and says that's not the lyrics to the song, Jay. Because they are the lyrics. Fight for freedom whenever there's trouble. I always say he'll fight for freedom whenever he's got time. <laughs> yeah, I can't rock and roll all night, but I can rock like two or three hours of every night. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Infantry oh, forces. We have the Cobra Trooper with the uh, resolute treatment. Um, Chad, you cosplay as a Cobra Trooper in the finest, so we're going to get you to open up about the uh, new additions to the outfit on the Cobra Trooper with the resolute coat of paint. Hello, my name is Chad, and I costume with the finest GI Joe costume club as a Cobra officer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> The updates to this figure are freaking phenomenal. I love this figure. The blue one, the red one, he's great. You take this body, you put that freaking Duke head with the bandana. Oh, you got Solid Snake. Such, ah. a, such a good body. Um, yeah, I, I love the figure. I really appreciate the update to their, their weaponry as well. That funky little sidearm thing, it, it's kind of a bull pup. It's not a sidearm. It's like an SMG. It's kind of kind of weird. I don't, I don't oh, ever yeah. put them yeah. in their hands. Yeah. But that... Um, what is this, a shotgun? Well, it, it's what's called a, a church key or a master key, depending on what branch you're in. But it, it's a, a rifle with a shotgun underbarrel. Yeah. Wow. Pretty awesome. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty hardcore, man. Yeah. Th these are fantastic figures. Um, I, I like the update to the helmet sculpt. It, it kind of speaks to the update to Cobra Commander for the Resolute aesthetic as well. But it, yeah, it's just an awesome figure. All the paint apps on it, the the sculpting, the attention to detail, the way the sleeves fold over um, the elastic part of their uh, elbow pads. Yeah, they're awesome. Everything about this figure, the sculpting is phenomenal. Uh, yeah, that card art is sick. The card art is amazing. I agree. Um, Mikey, what are your thoughts on the the Resolute Cobra Trooper? Uh, love the design. Um, hate the guns, and the tiny feet are absurd. You think the feet are tiny? Oh yeah, I don't think so. Make me big. That's what she said. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on. Oh, so anyway, you take that book and you take that Duke head. Oh, oh man. look at that. It's oh, solid no. snake, baby. No dead. Got How did you get the solid snake? Oh, you just printed it out on the on the stand. Oh, yeah, I, I print them, yeah. Yeah. Dude, maybe. that's okay. Whose head is that? It's the it's one of the dukes. Oh. Yep. Yep. I just wow. you know, I just did some washes on him and yeah. Solid that's snake. fire. Oh, you son of a bitch. He did it again. He made another figure that looks awesome. He did it. Yeah. He did it. Yeah. Uncle Nam, welcome. How you doing? Uncle Nam's been here for a little bit. I like the colors on this one. They're a bit more muted than the normal blue troopers. I agree. Yeah. And the, Which the, is part of that the, resolute. Yeah. Yeah. The suit itself is different. It's awesome. Yeah. I, I, I praise it just because it's different. I can't stop myself from saying that but in in our infinite rants about wanting classified to be better this is what i wanted to see so even take this and take it further 20 years down the line change it even further do you know what i mean but anyway 
this this if, is fire, man. If you take a look at this Cobra Trooper, they really look like they're kind of a mercenary, like independent kind of force. They don't necessarily have that whole um, visual language of a certain group from Eastern Europe in the 40s anymore. Mm hmm. But they they really have like an updated kind of we're like a mercenary army sort of a deal, and I, I really like that they they went that way with Resolute. Now, granted, when you get to Baroness and Destro, spoiler alert, you know they they look pretty on the nose. But yeah, most of the Cobras, yeah, they just have like a mercenary army kind of. It it remote. looks less professional. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like yeah, it's it looks like a... you're buying like army yeah. surplus stuff. And yeah, it, yeah. yeah. It's cool. it's oh, like... I, I got these navy blue BDUs from the army surplus yep. store, and I got this old flak vest because that's more of a flak vest than body armor. Yeah. And they're just like, cool. Yeah. We, somebody handed us these helmets, and we're putting in work. Michael, what's going on, Michael? Oh. Snoochie boochies. Um, yeah, this is good. Let's oh look at the oh the chat. Whoa, 74% say A tier, 75% A tier, 19% B, 6% C, zero with the D. Um, oh, I'm D giving this you. Uh, <clears throat> see, I don't want to get too excited because it's something different and moving Joe forward, otherwise, they're all gonna get an S. And and I see Mikey's point about the guns. I'll I will a tier it. I will a tier it. I think it's awesome. Do I want this? Yes, it's kick ass for sure. I would a tier it. Fair Charlie says S. Mikey, where would you put the trooper? I put him in as an S. <clears throat> I think he's a really, really, really good design. And the 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 blue outfit almost reminds me of um, was it the like German equivalent of SWAT. They had those grayish blue jumpsuits. That's that's what this reminds me of. That, I think that's yeah. part of the reason I think it works so well. It's just like that literally could be army surplus stuff, just not United States. Just that drab Eastern European, yeah. like, you know, kind of whatever. Dar Dargoon said it a, a while ago. That card art is, that's absolute perfection. I love it. It's Brand good. new design. They didn't just paint over the old Hector Garrido, they just made a complete new one. I love it. All right, Chad, where are you going to put him? S. A tier. I'm sorry, I cannot S it, but it's That's pretty okay. damn good. Pretty That's damn right. good. Congratulations, Cobra Trooper. Still a Oop. phenomenal figure. Oh, it's dude, it's, it's freaking amazing. Absolutely. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> You're Look, at those, uh... Look at those hawks. Look at those hawks. Hmm. And there's like three three versions of that figure, right? There's the well, I guess there's four if you include the Firefly, but there's the the blue one, the red, the red one. one, and then there's technically an Alley Viper. Yeah, which I've right. I've got them all over there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I see. Impossible Pie says, "I will say the gun is too big on that one." Hmm. I I like this. Should give you the Red Shadows logo. Yeah, big ass bazooka. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> spoiler alert! Do it, <laughs> I, I'm not even gonna put a poll up. I'm not even gonna put a poll up. I, I'm just kidding. Oh my god, look at this thing! Work with me, and in 24 hours, I will give you the world. <laughs> Work against me. Anybody? I don't know enough by heart, sir. And I will gut you like a fish. What? Mm. This is the Cobra Commander. That is my be all end all buck stops here, Cobra Commander. 100%. I have a version of this with a freaking hood on. I got a version of this with the, the 50th mirrored Viper face. So he actually has like a back metalized face. Such a freaking awesome figure. Everything about this figure is bulletproof start to finish. It's given me goosebumps hearing you talk about it. Because Yeah, I, I don't know. I agree. I think I might agree. 
He's got that freaking ceremonial saber. Just he's got that that um, you know ceremonial strap underneath, down to the um, the thigh straps and everything. Just the the red accents on his gloves, the big cobra there on his cape, and the sculpting on that cape, the way that it falls on his shoulders and then even on his back. It's so good. He's Two parts. He's posable. sick of being the uh, butt of the jokes in the Sunbow series. He's killing his own men in this. He's nuking Moscow. He's doing all sorts of evil things. Yeah, This is the Cobra Commander that we deserve. This is truly uh, a villain to fear. Yeah. And in Resolute, we see how badass Cobra Commander can be. Obviously, we know that from the comic book. But if you're going Sunbow just to this, you're going to be like, it's like when you saw Transformers the movie. It was like, oh, okay. I see what's going on here. Mikey, what do you think about this version of Cobra Commander? I think he's pretty good. I think he's pretty good. He is like a parade dress. Like he is like ultimate like ceremonial yep. snake. I think that's cool because that's a that's something we never we never really got. But um there are lots of things about this figure I don't like. Oh interesting. Let's get into yeah. it. All right. Yeah. What I don't what, like uh, the super skinny legs. I don't like the arms. The hands hands are not posable. The the articulation swivel is right under the elbow. I don't like that. Um. I don't like the. Uh, I don't like his uh his the skirt of his uniform. I don't. I don't like that. I don't like the look of that. But. Hmm. I would give him a solid A, but I would not S to. I think the design is very cool. I also don't like the shade of blue. I don't like that. I want a little darker, a little more sinister. Well, that's for the hood, right? Yeah. That's that's the hood look. But And a, a, a Luger with two magazines disturbs me greatly. Um, I like his gun. I'm glad he doesn't have the, the silly Viper pistol. Gil, how you doing from Facebook land? Good to see you. Hello. Welcome on in. Um. I'm glad I don't. I'm not a big fan of that Viper pistol. I think it's a little silly. So it's nice to see he's got an actual gun. Uh, the ceremonial saber. I like that it's ceremonial, but he uses it. Uh, his updated outfit. It looks like he could go into combat with this outfit too, which I think is great. Like he could wear it on his throne, but he could also be on the battlefield. Obviously, he's got the mirrored helmet, so he's ready to rock. Um, my favorite version of Cobra Commander. Uh, is in resolute by far even over the comic book and i think he's so great in the comic this figure is fire this is s all the way for me 100%. and he's got that sweet freaking sword sheath hanging off his side oh you got him here let's oh, yeah, let's I got him. him out yeah i got him here he is <sighs> is that the same one the i meeting? changed the head Remember I told you? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So I, oh, I gave him the no shit, like, back metalized 50th yep. anniversary. Um, oh, my God, it's so good. Yeah, there he is. Like, look at the detail in all that. It's terrific sculpting. Yeah, the sculpting's phenomenal. I love this figure. Oh, it's I love so it. good. Yeah. He's he's freaking, yeah. He, he's my favorite. And, I mean, you know, it is what it is, but double-breasted jacket. He doesn't have a Cobra thing on his jacket. He could throw that cloak off and just get down. So, yeah. I love him. All right. It's time to get to the chat. 90, 93%. Thoughts on the red version? Awesome. And the black and red, too. Yeah, the black and red. I have the black and red with the hood. I don't know what version that is. The sword gets sheathed, it comes out. Oh, it's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That's, that's my hood. favorite, the 50th. This figure is a great evolution. Or no, the retaliation. I agree, Dargoon, 100%. Yeah. Same. Ugh. Ugh. Duh. 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 Uh, okay. So, uh, where would you put this, Chad? S. Yes. Mikey says A. I say S. Uh, 94% say A tier. So we will put Cobra Commander from Resolute on the A tier. Wow. That shocks me. Uh, blame blame Mikey on that one. It's Mikey. Oh, I do. Fault. Trust me, I do. Oh, Mikey's yeah, full. I do. 
That's my Joey. Not, not at me this time. time. Not at me this time. This that's is one me. of the two best resolute figures. That's one of the best G.I. Joe figures in general. 100%. All right. This last one. Uh, Mikey brought it up earlier. Uh, ridiculously expensive. Um, I just want to say for everyone in the chat, once again, we couldn't do this without you guys. So thank you so much. Uh, please throw down a like if you haven't already. I see we're at 58 likes right now. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing if you're enjoying the content. Really appreciate that. Uh oh, yeah, Mikey's getting the torches. It's not me today, it's Mikey. That's fine. Phil says, as a kid, I only had a handful of GI Joes. Yeah, well, now's a now's a great time. There's a GI Joe Classified is a four year old line now, so you can still jump into that. These twenty fifths and up, a lot of them you could snag. Reasonable, are pretty cheap. Yeah, reasonable. Some. This one you cannot, ladies and gentlemen. I have two pictures um, of this one <laughs> because ah, one is Cat's fault. See that. One's a little blurry. We'll go We're going to go with one. Back. Okay, now when I show you guys this figure, the autograph on it is not normally on it. Okay, so just... But I couldn't find a clear version of this. That's the clearest version I could oh, find. Oh, there he is! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the, I believe it's a con exclusive. Yep, absolutely. 2007, Iron Grenadier, Rowdy, Roddy Piper. Yes, this is official, and yes, this is a real G.I. Joe figure. For those of you who have not seen it, this is Hot Rod himself in Joe form. With soft goods. With soft goods. Soft goods. Yeah. And yes, he is worth a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. He's, He's Joe Con, right, Mikey? Yeah. Jokon. Yeah. Yep. The last one they had in Kansas City. Absorb vids already says doesn't count. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But George says we need fat bastard from Austin Power. <laughs> <laughs> Needs more bubble gum. I would say if you could put the refrigerator oh, Perry. All out. If you could put the refrigerator Perry in G.I. Joe, you could put uh Roddy Piper. I gotta see how he spells his name. Uh, oh, it's Rowdy. Double D. I put Roddy, Rowdy, Roddy. It's all good. <laughs> Rowdy, Roddy, Piper. One sec. There we go. Dargoon with the $20 super chat. Thank you so much, brother. And he says, I need Forge Steel. It's just a joke from my gaming streams. But uh, yes, thank oh. you so much, dude. Much appreciated. <clears throat> um, who would like to open up about Roddy? I'm I, I'm holding back mine, but I'm really interested to see both of your guys' point of view on this figure. What's going on there? So, I'm trying to play the "I came here to chew bubble gum and kick ass." Oh. Okay. oh. <laughs> Chew bubble gum and kick ass. <laughs> and I'm all out of bubble gum. Oh. There you go. Uh, Mikey, That's why he doesn't come with bubble gum. Mikey or Chad, can you guys ass. answer that? I'm not sure. Yes. There is a white shirt. Bear. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so I scoured the internet, and I couldn't find clear pictures of him on the card. This was really the only really good one. I had to touch it up a bit. But yeah, I don't want to say that not a lot of people have this, but not a lot of people have taken nice pictures of it. Yeah. <clears throat> that makes sense. All right. Uh, Mikey, let's get you going here. Iron Grenadier, Rowdy Roddy Piper. What are your thoughts? I remember seeing this at this convention and not not looking at it twice. Um, it doesn't do anything for me. I'm not never been into the wrestling stuff. Um, I think it's really cool that there's a Sergeant Slaughter parallel for, for Cobra or at least Mars. <laughs> right. Um, terrible construction on the figure. Um, yes. This is, this is um, uh, Valor versus Venom. I think that torso is actually grunt. Um, terrible construction, terrible, terrible figure, but really cool 
as far as representation um and soft goods which is always cool but all right chad do you have this one no i don't have him um uh for a couple of reasons one like mikey nailed it on the construction look at his left arm you see that weird gap we'll look at his arms yeah there's right, gap but that's what it looks there. like it, yeah. it's very like and he's got um really obvious pins in him the one thing i do like about this well the two things one he has soft goods and two that cobra shaped helmet fits him well I will say that, right. but he's iron grenadier with a Cobra helmet. It, it's kind of a, right. I, I don't yeah. really get yeah. where we're going with that. Cause iron grenadiers, right. Was not Cobra. Um, I liked, I liked the idea of using another wrestler, especially somebody like Roddy Piper, because the color scheme, it, it works, you know, even, and he's a bad guy. White right? I mean, yeah, that was the right? whole thing. Yeah. Rowdy, Roddy Piper. He's rowdy. Um, I, I like him as the trainer. But um, I I would not pay what what people want for this figure just so what because are, of the construction of it. It's what not are we great. averaging for price on this U.S. dollars? Over well, five. I mean, over five hundred dollars. Oh, there's wow. Canadian right there. Twelve hundred Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. Let me. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Let me. Let me go look. His kilt Over. should have been red and gold, right? They should have brought some gold into this. Real. Yeah. Big. Yeah, yeah. The at least the laces on the boots or something. Yeah, I agree. Something, but I mean that's that's a little nitpicky. <laughs> the construction is the is the real problem here. But um, at the time, I mean that that was all the construct. That was all the exclusives. They were all previous versions. I'm looking at them ranging from 700 to 1300 or 1700. Buy it now. There's 1950, wow. 1400. Wow, here's really? one for four thousand dollars, but it's AFA graded, right? Right. Oh, right. Um, that was actually in the from the uh, Rowdy Rowdy Piper estate, I think. Uh, I yeah, I'm, I'm not really digging into them. And then here's another one that that's signed <laughs> for five thousand dollars and graded, signed and graded. Right. But you know he's dead, so you know, rest rest All in right, peace, Rowdy Piper. Chat. Wow, I I knew I thought he was around the three hundred range. I haven't looked in a few years. That's yeah. wow. seven hundred is three hundred range, probably ten years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's it's an ex- super expensive figure. You want to pay seven hundred dollars for Roddy Piper? She I said mean, no, not really. But the dog said no. Oh, you were talking to me. <laughs> no, I was talking to the dog, and she she's said, like, I don't give a shit. Said, Just give me a cat treat. She said no, nah, man. <laughs> yeah, cat treats, right? She said no, nah, man. Nope. Nope. Um, so Matt says this is a great idea and super expensive. Gods will say it 800 on eBay. Uh, Michael says I'd only pay that much if it has ally fight wind up action. Uh, Steve says I love Roddy Piper. I love G.I. Joe, but I wouldn't pay more than 30 bucks for this. Hmm. Hmm. This is the big boa for Destro. <laughs> Sarge yeah, versus Boa better. versus Piper. Big boa. Yeah. Way better than Big Boa. Yeah. I don't know about that, but he's pretty pretty damn cool. Yeah, his nipples aren't exposed. It's it's yeah. He's way better. Come on, guys. It's just Boa. He's a nice man. Oh, and now we know he's a man. Now we know he's a man, which is sucks. <laughs> I liked that he had a robot head, but whatever. The uh, idea I, I, of I think he's a cyborg is good. I, I think the execution of this is not good. And just because it's expensive, right? Like I don't think there's the value in the expense. It's just the rarity. It's the rarity. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah, you know, and, the, and you're going to find that with all of the, the very last like two or three years of anything. Modern Joe is going to be expensive. Yeah. Con stuff, figure subscription, this dude, couple others, the freaking Cobra missile command headquarters exclusive that, um, yeah. um, Weber and Vala did like, that's ridiculously expensive. And it, it's more expensive than the original one. So, I, no. No, sir. So, I look at this completely different. One, Piper is amazing. I think if you're going to put another wrestler, he would fit that. Yeah. Um, I look at it from a toy point of view. Um, I agree. The arms look silly. He's very boxy looking. 
But I look past all that because I just think the idea is so damn amazing. And the fact that he's Scottish and they put him on Destro's team, I love it. I think this is all. Awesome. I would S tier this all day. But that being said, I look at it like a toy, right? I don't really care about the pins and all that stuff. And I know you guys look at it differently. I understand that. Just for me, I just look at it like it's just Piper in G.I. Joe, and I think it's friggin' awesome. But I would not, I would do a couple hundred if I had it in the action figure fund, right? I would do it if, if I had that to spend on it, but I wouldn't do $1,300. That's, I can't do that. That's a little much. My, my flag was like less than a thousand. There's no way. Yeah, like, yeah, like the, yeah, mine was around there too, right? So this is a flag or this, right? It's like now, if there was an unreleased version that was only produced in Fun School, maybe maybe Chad could do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, because. But then again, like the Battle Hawk is rare and it's cool. You know, I understand this guy's rare, but if it was so, it has 25th anniversary on the card, but it's not a 25th anniversary construction figure no but yeah. i don't think right. any of the cons through the 25th anniversary i don't think any of them were 25th construction or not till later of them at no. least not till later right they were still because this is when they were still doing a lot of on o-ring figures yeah. yeah so so i just want to say for our final figure of the night everyone make sure you get your votes in um i would say s tier 100 i also really like rare figures <laughs> Uh, I love the grails in every line. Uh, just that label on it makes it very attractive to me. I love getting the hard stuff to find. Um, that's just me, though. So I would ask here, Mikey, where would you put Rowdy, Roddy, Hot Rod, Grenadier, Priper? C. C tier. You'd want them, but you're not going to pay for them. Yeah. Who could blame I mean, you? I really wouldn't want it at all, but it is a cool idea, and that, that, praise, that raises him up. Yeah. It's Chad. Formally articulated. It's Chad live from the Toxo Lab. What toxic crap do you have now? <laughs> I don't know, honestly. I I'm torn. I'm I'm really I'm okay. really torn on this. Okay. Let's put it let's put it like this. Okay. What would be the top dollar if you had this in front of you at a con, right? Okay. What would be the top dollar you'd pay for this? 200. That's what I would do. I do too. You asked too. So Chad, like let me, let me ask you this. What would, what grade would you give the idea of this figure? The idea, the idea itself. The idea, Roddy, I would, Roddy Piper. I would S tier the idea. S tier. Okay. Now the figure. What do you grade the figure? D as a toy. D. So the average would be B is your answer. <laughs> Screw it. Yeah, we'll go with that. B tier. Yes. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Mikey. What'd you say? You said D. I I said C. You said C. Okay. Uh, and I will give it S. But the chat the chat says A tier, fifty three percent for Hot Rod. So none of the crap that we said matters. No, Meh. but it, it doesn't. It's all about them voting. We're just entertaining them. Absolutely. <laughs> well, they Facebook poll. Really? I'm trying to like psychically sway people. Do what I did. No, TJC, only, only, only I have them. that power. <laughs> um, there you go. That is part <laughs> one of Resolute. There are many more figures and many more in the 25th and upline. Jake, what's going on? Good Hello, to see you. Jake. We are definitely going to continue the 25th anniversary. This is your last <laughs> chance. Everyone who is not throwing a light on the live stream, if you enjoy the content, please uh, make sure you do that. Despite my stuffy, nasally voice, make sure you check out Mikey at JMK Customs and it's Chad. But I'll let those guys pitch themselves to you right now. Mikey. Hi, I'm Mikey from JMK Custom Works. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, follow me on Facebook, uh, Instagram, YouTube, JMK Custom Works. You can see me do some custom uh, videos on uh, on Facebook and on YouTube, and you can look at uh, some custom some custom stuff. And if you're interested in the commission, send me a message on Facebook. 
and let's make this guy big. It's Chad. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I don't know. what do I do? There you go. I'm Chad. I have a Viper pistol. Oh my God! Subscribe to my cute hair dryer, or I'll come get you with my mm. hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. It it's yeah. Chad. There it is. Real simple. Everybody should already know who I am. Mikey, you want to see what I got? More than anything in the world, Ron. Five dollars, <laughs> little kid's toy at Walmart. Tell me huh? you don't see the possibilities in this thing. Woo! Okay. Slick. Okay. Slick. Could be a rad devil fish. This thing is gonna be freaking awesome. It was in a big old, you know those giant ball, the ball bins that you walk by in like the toy department? Ball bins. Yes. You know the big bins that they have like all the balls in? All the balls, yeah. There was a whole balls. bunch of little balls. All the balls. The ball bins, balls. All the balls. All the ball <laughs> bins. Big old ball pit. Balls. Cool yawns, right? Balls. <laughs> anyway, so I got this boat. I'm a G this It was boat covered out. in balls? That's no, the there were no balls in that bin. Oh, it was an empty ball pit full of boats. No, it was full of these. <laughs> and like trucks and shut up, man. Anyway, uh, don't forget, when guys. We expect that video. I am live <laughs> Wednesday. Sorry, yeah, Wednesday through Sunday, 10 a.m. with game streams with toy stuff. Uh, this Sunday coming up, I have Jordan Morris, executive producer on the Mr. Dress Up documentary, and of course, Nintendo Quest. Jordan in the 80s worked at Toys R Us for yeah. quite a long time, and he might have put some flags out on the shelf there, Chad. And Jordan's a rad. And in 90s, he owned his own toy store. So we're going to go down memory lane with Jordan Sunday morning, uh, two days from now. And guys, check it out on YouTube. You can watch it for free. If you have not seen Resolute, go watch it. If you've seen it, go watch it again. It's the best. Watch it again. I'm going to go watch it now. Yeah, I'm going to watch it right now. Thank you, Steve. All right, guys, we're out of here. Thanks, Steve. Till next time, Joe fans. Yo, friggin' Joe.